my channel. My name is Ivana. Thank you so much for watching. I upload every single week and my videos consist of beauty videos such as makeup, tutorials, reviews, hair tutorials, anything that has to do with beauty. I eat, breathe, and sleep makeup. So if you love those videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos that I upload. And also, why don't you join the family? I want to reach 100 subscribers and I am this close, this close, literally this close to having 100 subscribers and I know you can make that happen so please join the family. Now for today's video I decided to create this look. I went with a more simple glowy fresh makeup look but I wanted to add a pop of color on the lip. I feel like red lipsticks is a staple in my makeup collection and in anybody's makeup collection because it can take a very simple natural look to the next level and also I used two drugstore lipstick to get this look, which I am obsessed with at the moment. If you wanna know what lipstick I use and how to create this look, please keep watching. To start off, I'm gonna use my favorite um, foundation primer. This is a hydrating primer from Laura Mercier. I use this all the time and I love it because it really hydrates my skin. So for foundation today, I'm gonna use two. This is the Stila, the Stila Aqua Glow Serum Foundation, and I have it in shade Tan Deep and Medium Tan. This is too light for me, and this is too dark, so when I mix both, it's like the perfect combination for my skin. So this is what I'm gonna use. I've used this foundation one time, and I love the dewiness and the glow that it gives my skin. And it's also very lightweight, so that's why I like it. So I have it here. What I'm also going to do is use this NYX liquid illuminator. I am mixing that to the foundation. So, and then you just take any brush and just blend everything together. You know what? I'm going to add a little bit more of the tan deep just to darken it up a little bit more. I'm using this crown buffing brush that I always use to buff in my foundation. I love it. I'm just going to start packing it into my skin and then blend it out. make sure you blend it down towards the neck area next I'm going in with my beauty blender just to make it nice and smooth so that I don't have any brush strokes next for the eyes I'm gonna go in with this elf 16 hour camo concealer in medium beige I'm giving this concealer another try I've used it in my last videos and I didn't like the way that it applied because of the base that I had but since I know I like this foundation. First I'm going to use my from Maybelline. This is the H Rewind Dark Circle Eraser and I'm going to apply that under my eyes and I'm applying the e.l.f. just at the beginning of my eye just to brighten it up a bit. Just like that and I'm going to take my beauty blender again and blend it all out. I'm taking the Maybelline concealer and just highlighting the highest points of my face. And then turn your beauty blender towards the side where you apply your foundation just so you can blend everything out and you don't see any lines. Moving on to contour, I'm going to cream contour with this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Stick. Set my under eyes, I'm going to use the RCMA No Color Powder. I'm also going to set anywhere that I highlighted, just a little bit. And then I'm going to dust it away with a brush. 
And to bronze out my skin, I'm gonna use the Revolution Ultra Bronze. Looks like this. And I'm gonna use this with a Morphe M527 brush. To deepen up my contour, I'm gonna go in with the Shade and Light Palette. And I'm using the middle shade just to deepen it up a little bit. And my favorite brush to do that is the Cosette S120 brush. It's like this. Next, I'm going in with this blush. This one is by NARS and it's called Taj Mahal, something like that. But it's this beautiful orangey shade. And it is this beautiful orangey shade but once you put it on the skin it gives you that beautiful golden glow and i love it so i'm going to use this with the sephora airbrush and i'm just going to apply it on my skin look how beautiful that looks And now I'm going to spray my skin with the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. And I love this because it really makes my skin look really dewy. And today that's what we're going for. So that is just going to help for all of the makeup to set into my skin so it doesn't look cakey or powdery. So I just want it to look really nice and dewy at the end of the makeup look. So this is why I like to spray before I do my highlighter. And then I would like to go back with my beauty blender just to make sure everything is nicely blended. And when my skin is still a little bit wet from the spray, I like to go in with the highlighter because that is just going to help for the intensity and we want to glow. So for highlighter today, I'm using Fuego, which is my favorite highlighter. So I'm just taking this in my fan with my fan brush and I'm applying it all over the highest points of my cheeks. And I'm also going to highlight the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose. And then once I'm done, I'm going to spray with my All Nighter Spray. This is from Urban Decay. Moving on to brows, I'm using my favorite brow pencil, which is from BH. And this is in the shade Brunette. It's the shade and Define Dual Brow Pencil. I love this pencil because it has the skinny side and the more angled side, which is thicker, just to deepen up the brow. Then I just like to clean it up with some concealer. Next I'm applying just some clear brow gel. My brows are super thick right now, but that's fine. I need to go get them done ASAP. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to the eyes. For the eyes, I'm going very natural because I am going with a bold lip. So I had these ColourPop Shadow, Super Shock Shadow, and I think I'm going to give it a try today. So I got it in shade K-Pop Wilshire and K-Pop Crenshaw. Crenshaw. They look like this. These are matte shadows. So these are the two colors. I think I'm going to start with this one all over my crease with this eyeshader brush. So I am applying this all over the crease and blending it out in circular motion. And as you can see, I didn't apply any eye primer because I want this look to look very natural. Um, since because since I did spray my skin before, my lids are a little bit tacky because of the setting spray. And then these shadows have, you know, they're super shock shadow and they have kind of like that cushiony. I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of like very cushiony and very pigmented. Moving on to the lighter shade, I think I'm gonna apply this all over the lid. And I'm using this Profusion blending brush. This one actually came in a palette that I got the other day. Um, and I did a video on that palette, which was really good. I was so impressed. 
I'll link it down below in case you guys are interested. I feel like I want to deepen it up a little bit just in the outer corner of the eye. So I'm going to use this MAC bronzer. And I think this is a deep shade. I'm not sure. Like the name literally is not there anymore. So I'm going to use it with the same brush that I used to apply the first color. And I'm just focusing this color mostly in the outer corner of the eye. So that did make a big, huge difference. With this Morphe G27 brush, I'm gonna take that first shadow and apply it and run that color all over my bottom lash line. And then going back to that bronzing shade and applying this just in the outer V of the eye. For my bottom liner, I'm going to use this Butter London liner in Twigged. It's a beautiful bronzy shade and I'm going to use that in my waterline. Just like that and it gives you just that beautiful bronzy color on the eyes and I'm going back to that pointed brush just to blend everything out. For the inner corner highlight I'm gonna go with MAC Nylon. I haven't used this in so long and this was my favorite inner corner highlight until I started using all the other new highlights that are be coming out. I love this so much. It really brightens up the eye. I'm actually mixing it with the highlighter that I used today, Fuego, just to tone down the brightness. Like I still want it bright, but not as white. I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply some mascara. The mascara that I'm using is this Mega Volume Mascara from Wet n Wild. For eyelashes, I'm using these from Velux. It's 100% virgin Remy hair, um, and it has a tapered end, which is what I like on the lashes. I actually really love these lashes because, it's, as you can see, these have the tapered ends, and it's short on the inner corner and the outer corner of the eye, which is what I love because I've noticed that every time I wear lashes and they're really long on the outer corner of the eye, it makes my eye, my eyes naturally are like droopy. They always look tired. So when I wear those lashes, I feel like it weighs my eye down and it looks funny. So I love these. For lip liner, I'm using this one. It's from NYX and Hot Red. I'm going to line my lip. And for lipstick, I'm using this Milani 07 Best Red lipstick. Now that the lashes are done, finally, it took me forever to put them on. I put on this lipstick, but I think I'm gonna go in on top because I want it more vibrant red because I want it to have kind of um, a shine to it. I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline 385 Ruby For Me. And this is beautiful red. I'm applying that right on top. And as you can see, this just makes my lips look a lot more juicy <laughs> and it has more of a sheen to it, which is what I like. And then just to set everything in place, I'm going to go back with my Urban Decay All Nighter. And I am using this bronzing shade again with this BH Cosmetics Studio Pro brush. And I'm just applying it right on the sides of my nose just to give it more dimension I guess. Okay guys this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. Thumbs up the video if you did and I'll see you guys in my next. Bye!